Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Justin from Retro Game Hunters. Uh, today's going to be a quick video on a track mode for the Mr. FPGA. Uh, what we plan to do here is grab the script, the INI, and upload it into the scripts folder within the Mr. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description as always. And this is the GitHub page where you're going to grab the INI and the script for the, a track mode. Uh, you can just click on the green kind of button there where it says code and then download it as a zip folder. Uh, that is going to give you the optional folder, the track mode INI, and the track mode.sh, which is a script. Once we have that done, you can place it to whatever directory you want. And then you can just go ahead and extract it with whatever program you want. I personally use 7-zip, so I extracted that right to the desktop here. Um, a note on the you know, GitHub page, definitely go through it, definitely read it. It covers all the supported systems that you, uh, it does support. And a uh, quick note with that, the PC Engine, uh, TurboGrafx 16 CD and Sega CD, they do need to be in a .chd uh, file format for the games. Most people typically have it at .bin and Q. I know I do. So if you want to see how to change that, let me know. I'll make a video on that. Um, as far as excluding certain games, you can absolutely do that. Uh, just excluding MRI, so arcade games. Um, MRA, sorry. Uh, USB storage is still something that is... As you can see, not well tested. I haven't tested it myself. I'm running off an SD card. Um, I would also try to like to test running from like SMB, like Samba, uh, which is you know Windows File Share basically. Um, once you have that done, open up the file that you extracted, and then you can see the attract mode INI, the attract mode.sh folder. We're gonna log into FileZilla here, so, or whatever uh, FTP client you choose. So username, password, IP address connect two but or two dots media fat scripts folder and that's where these files are going to go you're going to put these files in there so the attract mode ini and the attract mode dot sh file uh you don't need the ini in there but if you're going to be editing anything to reflect on the uh, script folder or script file then yes you want to put both of those files in there uh you can edit the ini with notepad plus plus or whatever you prefer I did Notepad++. You can see on lines 16 and 17, time before going to the next core, that was 120, two minutes. I changed it to 60 seconds, one minute. Uh, the optional files here, these are more scripts, but these are basically saying that if you just want to cycle through Super Nintendo games, if you just want to cycle through Neo Geo or Nintendo and so on, uh, or Genesis, you know, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, I personally just want to cycle through all of them, because it's kind of cool. It looks nice. The games are displaying randomly. Uh, you can just go ahead and hop in the game, and it's just a pretty solid feature overall. All right, so let's go over to the Mister, and in the Mister, we're gonna hit the OSD menu. If you have the uh, I/O board, uh, or you can hit F12 on your keyboard, or if you have hotkey set up on your controller, you gotta hit. Uh, you can go ahead and hit that as well. Once you do that, go to scripts, then we're going to hit yes here, and we're just going to hit on a track mode. So you'll see in a second, it's going to load up a random game. At this point, it's selecting something from Neo Geo. Let's see what game we got here. And, you know, fake drum roll. And the game is Top Hunter. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I ever played this, but, you know, why not? It's a game I should try, so we'll check it out. But basically, you let it cycle through. It's gonna last a minute, and then it's gonna cycle through another game, and then so on and so on. It's just going to keep doing that. Uh, and like I said, you don't have to go out of the menu. If this is like, you see this game, you wanna play it, then enter coins in, or hit start, whatever the case is. Uh, and then we'll just start you know, playing that game. So, it's it's pretty awesome. I like it. I think it's really cool. Um, you know, I remember a track mode from like RetroPie, and you know, it was like a front end for the name and Nintendo and Genesis and so on. And look at that, 60 seconds. Just went to another game here. So this went to, I believe, Darkstalkers or Vampire Savior, whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, I, I just wanted to say thank you as always. And if you guys could hit like and subscribe, it means a lot. And have a great day. Thanks. Bye.